All right, so I don't know about you, but personally, there's just times in my life, but especially in photography, where I just feel like my images aren't great. I'm just kind of scrolling through them and they're okay. It's kind of the same exact stuff I've just always been getting. The editing doesn't feel right when I'm going through them. And it just, it creeps into your head that like, oh, just not that good. I just need to be better. You know, there's all these other people out there that are so much better than me. They deserve all the work. I don't deserve to have any of the work. And yes, this is a YouTube video that's, I'm hoping helps people, helps people just, you know, if they're in this state of mind, get out of it, move past it, and also recognize that it's okay. Like, it's okay to have these thoughts. Other people have these thoughts at all levels from just starting out to, you know, people that are way better than me that have been doing this for 30 years, I'm sure still have these thoughts that creep into their head of like, man, I'm just not getting these photos and like, what is going on? So I'm saying this to you guys, but I'm honestly also just saying it to myself. I'm reminding myself right now of like, okay, here's what we need to do to get different photos, to get better photos. Just motivate yourself, move yourself forward, put yourself in a different position get there earlier, stay there later, look inside the dugout, just look for different things and just create. And that's gonna sort of hopefully get those thoughts out of your head, give you a little bit more energy, a little more creative juices flowing, and you can move past it and just start creating new stuff because that's, you know, I think that's what it's all about is for me, especially just, let me try to find new things. Let me try to create new things. Let me create things that I'm excited about and then I'm gonna feel a lot better about my photography if I'm creating things that I really like. If I can satisfy myself for you know, images that get me excited, then that's gonna just leave that self-doubt behind and move me forward. And I hope you know that can be the same for you for if you're feeling this way about photography or honestly just, again, anything else in your life. If you're doing videos or you're just working at you know, a sales job, just looking at things in a different way uh, can just help get you out of that rut. Um, even just, you know, changing the layout of your room or something like that, just getting moving, changing things up, and then just moving past that self-doubt that you're having. I try to keep aware of the fact that these thoughts do creep into my head. I've had them before. I've moved past them. I've moved forward and continue getting better, continue improving shoots, and just knowing that in a couple days, weeks, that I'll move past it and I'll feel a lot better, a lot more confident about my photography. I'm sure there's people out there probably thinking like, oh, that guy shoots professional sports. Like, you know, that seems amazing. I would love to be able to do that. And it's true, it is amazing. I do enjoy doing it. I love doing it. It's still a job, but you know, and looking back at where I was, you know, five, six years ago, it is a dream. Like, it's a dream come true. It's amazing. And that's one way that I help creep past that self-doubt is just looking back at where I was, looking back at what I wanted out of my career. And I can see like, okay, you know, I am achieving things. Like, those photos I took five years ago are way worse than maybe the photos I think are bad now. You know, those bad photos now are still better than some of the good photos I, I took back five, six years ago. And so that's one thing that I just constantly remind myself of, you know, if I'm starting to feel that self-doubt, starting to feel that imposter syndrome, I'm like, okay, like, I've been doing this for a couple years. I'm still getting hired by the same people, so they must like my work. You know, oh, I've got some good photos that have been published that's really cool um you know just recounting those highlights of the career and just being like okay like i am doing all right like i'm i can make some good photos and that brings me to you know comparing myself to other people because it's great to compare myself to where i was uh, because then i can see how i'm improving and when I compare myself to other people, when I'm on Instagram looking at other people's work and I'm just like, man, like that person is such a good photographer and I just want to get to that level. I feel like if we were up for the same job, they would get it every time. And I'm like, man, how am I even getting work with like all these amazing photographers around? And 
sometimes I just need to take a break from Instagram or um, something like that and just recognize like, okay, look to these people for inspiration. Don't look at them for comparison because it's just going to kind of drive those thoughts down of like, man, like, I well, guess I'm just not as good as those people. And like, sure, they probably are better, but those people are also looking at other people that they feel are better than them. So there's always going to be someone that's better than me, you know, and I'm probably always going to be better than some people. So I just need to be better than where I was, you know, six months ago, a year ago. And, you know, that's what's, again, going to keep me moving forward, keep improving, and move past that self-doubt imposter syndrome. Because if I can provide the quality and quantity and keep my clients happy, then, you know, I'm doing my job, I'm doing a good job. Because that's what's most important at the end of the day is to keep those clients happy and deliver what they want. And if you can do that, then you deserve all the work that you're getting. It doesn't matter if there's someone better than you, you're delivering what needs to be done. When these thoughts start coming in my head too, sometimes I'm like, all right, I'm at the Red Sox again, just what's on top of my head, because that's what I've been shooting most. But, and it's just like, all right, I'm gonna get the images I need. I'm not feeling that creative. I'm not gonna necessarily like go walk around the ballpark. But, you know, sometimes that, when I feel that self-doubt of like, oh, like my images just aren't that great. It's just, it motivates me and it pushes me and I have to push myself to get out of the photo pit on third base and just maybe walk around for an inning or two, look for something new, look for something different. Even if it's not something I'm gonna post or um, submit to USA Today, it's still gonna be helping me to like see something maybe slightly different or just getting out there and doing something different, focusing on something else, focusing on maybe infield plays, focusing on fans, focusing on how, you know, the lights hitting the stands or the outfield wall in a certain way. It's just going to allow me to step outside of the every day I'm shooting the batter, shooting the pitcher, right? Getting the exact same photos all the time. It just, helps make me feel better about my photography that like, okay, I can find other photos. I can make different photos. And then that will hopefully propel me forward, keep improving and just like get rid of that self doubt that's going on in my head. I hope that helps just one guy's opinion on the internet, but you know, sometimes people just need to hear it. I hope it helps at least one person. And honestly, it's helping me right now just doing it. So that's one person. So we're good to go. And if you have any questions, leave them below. See you next time. Is that right, Rose? Okay, yes. I know, you make me feel better. That's good.